It's a great day because today is National Espresso Day, and it couldn't have come at a better time because many of us are going to be hitting the road in a few minutes to go drive and see family for Thanksgiving. So joining us now is David, the owner of Red Bicycle Coffee. You guys have it all, coffee, crepes. I mean, they do everything. For those who don't know, because you are really a staple in town, so I'm sure many people have been, but tell people what Red Bicycle is. Red Bicycle coffee shop first and foremost we're a family atmosphere we want to see you every day in the shop we love being in the neighborhoods and seeing our regulars but we offer a wide range of things from a restaurant standpoint crepes are our specialty if you haven't tried a crepe come get them if not we still have plenty of things for you from breakfast sandwiches burritos all kinds of different things you do savory and sweet savory sweet yep all Ooh, of it. Nutella and is my favorite. We have a lot of Nutella Ooh, options. <laughs> I bet you go through those big Jugs containers of it. Oh, I could jump in one. Okay, before I do that, let's talk about espresso because it's espresso day. How do people make a great espresso at home? It's not easy. There's a science to it, I feel like. There is a science to it. Um, but at the same point, you can make a great espresso at home fairly easily. Uh, there's two options. Okay. One, we have an at home machine right here. It's Breville. You can go get one at a ton of different stores. Um, first, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to get your espresso. Mm -hmm. We're going to tamp it. This is just like what your baristas do in the stores. You tamp down your espresso. Why do you do that? That packs it in there and it allows the water to go through the espresso at the correct ratio. Not too fast, not too slow. And I'm noticing you don't tamp it to the top. I thought you kind of had to have it level with the top once it ta it's tamped. Let me turn this just a little so people can see. You have a little leeway. Yep, we have a okay. little leeway, yep. Okay, all right, all good right. to know. We're gonna put it in our machine and now you have two different options from there. First option is going to be one shot or two shot. We're going to choose two shots. That's the general standard at all coffee shops. Okay. And I'm going to make you a drink. Our specialty is probably a butterbeer latte. This is just a dash of white chocolate, a dash of caramel. Is this like Harry Potter butter This beer? is the hot Harry Potter butterbeer. <laughs> exactly. Yum. And then we get a dash of vanilla as well to top it all off. My uh, producer said in my ear, I have to remember how to make this because I'm making it for everybody upstairs yeah, after this. You can do that. <laughs> so you're going to pull the shots of espresso into the syrups that you already have in your cup. This will allow it to mix thoroughly and evenly, and you're not going to get a too sweet or not sweet enough drink. Oh, so we're going to start so that bad boy up. Syrups go first. OK. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to get our milk ready that we're going to steam after we have pulled our shot. Okay, and I'm guessing you have specific beans that you like. I think you sell them at Red Bicycle, we is that sure correct? Do. Okay. We have tons of beans. No, we have a certain espresso beans that we do use for espresso that we recommend. But at the same point, you can use any coffee bean for espresso. You're oh. gonna get different flavors, different notes with everything. Some people want single origin coffee beans that are gonna be much sweeter and tartar. Some people like a blend, which is gonna be more middle of the road huh. and bolder. And that's generally what we choose and all coffee shops will choose to make espresso because you don't want something that will overpower your drink. You mm. want middle of the road. All right, so now we are going to, we've made our espresso. It smells good. It looks amazing. We're gonna mix it up just so we have a thorough mix. Now this is ready to go. That's our base for our drink. I'm just gonna tilt this a little so everybody can see how beautiful and frothy it looks. And then last, we're gonna steam our milk and get that ready to go. Okay. Now, in the, in the coffee shops, we kind of do this all at once. Here, we do it um, as the second step. Right, coffee so shop, break it we up. wanna be as efficient as possible and get this going quickly for the customers. Here at home, take your time, make your base first, Ooh. and make sure you get this all steamed properly. Now, how far down do you put the nozzle? Is it just at the upper top or all the way down? It is just at the upper top. Okay. You want it just submerged below the surface, and you want it to be nice and quiet like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if your steam wand's screeching at you, you have it too low. Oh. You want to be introducing the right amount of foam to your espresso. And as you see, I'm holding the steaming pitcher with just my right hand. I'm not holding it on the handle because I do it to touch. When the steaming pitcher becomes too touch, too hot to touch, it's ready to go. 
And what about, do you prefer any type of milk or can it be to anybody's desire? Any, any desire, almond milk, oat milk, whole milk, skim milk, whatever you want. <laughs> Who knew there were so many milks? Okay, this is wonderful. Well, I can't wait to try it. I can't thank you enough as well. You're very Ooh, welcome. It's yelling at me, I love it's it. It's yelling at you, it's ready to go. <laughs> All right, well, you, I'm gonna You enjoy. give it a couple taps, get the air bubbles out, and now we make something amazing for you. Oh, I'm so excited to try it, and I'm excited to celebrate National Espresso Day. Thank you for being here to You're celebrate very something Thank so you wonderful. So much. All right, I'm going in for it. If you haven't been to Red Bicycle yet, you're definitely missing out. So make sure to visit them, check out one of their nine locations in town, or you can always go online at redbicycle.com. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. There, redbicycle. Oh, excuse me, redbicyclecoffee.com. Amazing.